Hello and welcome to another episode of Geared Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I'm so glad you're here. I've got a quick one for you today, kind of an unpackaging, although it's already been unpackaged, of a product that I received from Canada, as you may be able to tell from the, uh, the French there. This came from my buddy Ryan at R2G Leatherworks, and it's another pocket slip, a leather pocket slip. You may remember the dual slip that I featured not too long ago, and this thing's uh, wearing in nicely. It's darkening up. Everything's kind of molding to it quite nicely. I ended up deciding on a Victorinox Pioneer, just a standard Pioneer in red, and a Streamlight MicroStream USB, also in red, to permanently live in this dual slip, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, fantastic product, couldn't be happier. So I wanted a single slip for my Benchmade proper. And so Ryan offers a single slip, which is literally half of a dual slip. And it would be this half, right? It would have the grommet, the lanyard. So remove that. And that's a single slip from R2, R2G or RG2. I always get it wrong. Let me pull out the note. I don't want to mess this up. RG2. RG2. So yeah, single slip is going to look like that. Uh, generally speaking, but I had him do mine a little bit different. Uh, I kind of made a custom request and he was happy to oblige. And so here it is. This is my new single slip from RG2 Leatherworks. And he left a note in the package that said, thanks again, hope you enjoy this one. All the best, keep the videos rolling. Ryan from RG2 Leatherworks. So thank you so much, Ryan. So this is the single slip and the dimensions of this are a little different than the standard single slip. But Ryan, as I mentioned in the video that I did on the dual slip, he is very much concerned with customer service and making sure that the final product is exactly what you want. And so I asked him, I said, can you make me a single slip without the grommet, without the lanyard? Can you raise the front piece of leather up higher and lower the back piece of leather a bit lower? And I kind of gave him the dimensions that I had in mind. He said, yeah, totally not a problem. This leather is a little lighter in color. It is so soft and supple, I can't even tell you how soft this is. It smells unbelievable, and it's got a kind of dark OD green stitching. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna show you in just a second the Benchmade proper and how it's gonna fit in here, which you can kind of see it off to the side here. Uh, but yeah, Ryan was just more than willing to kind of take my custom request, if you will, and, and oblige. And he went so far as to include some paracord because I mentioned to him, I didn't want the lanyard on the slip itself. I wanted to put a lanyard on the knife. And so he included some matching paracord to match the stitching, right? So it's kind of green on green. And I made a lanyard and I'm not a lanyard maker. It's the simplest lanyard you've ever seen, but here it is. It's just a simple paracord run through the uh, lanyard tube and tied in a knot. I put a brass bead on here. And this brass bead, real quick, I just wanna give a shout out to my friend, Jesse Bird. And Jesse uh, lives in Hawaii, so aloha, my friend. Um, and he made this at work on a lathe. And he was just messing around one day. I think it was like his first time ever kind of using a lathe and doing any machining, and he made a bunch of these brass lanyard beads, and in a flashlight group that I'm on uh, on Facebook, he just posted a picture, and it was like, hey, I was messing around at work, and I made all these uh, lanyard beads, who wants one? So I sent him a message, said, man, I'd, I'd love to have one, you know, how much? How much for shipping? Uh, you know, I'd love to support you if this is something you're gonna start doing. And he was like, no, dude, like, just give me your address, and, and I'll send it to you. He, he wouldn't even, entertain the idea of me paying for shipping uh, from Hawaii. And so thank you so much, Jesse, for the, the generous gift of this beautiful brass lanyard bead. It's, it's amazingly well done, especially considering you just started uh, doing this sort of thing. Similar to Ryan, kind of what I mentioned with his work, he's only been doing this for, you know, a number of months and kind of doing it as a business for, for even less time. And so it's just the talent that's out there is just, it blows me away. So here's the Benchmade proper with my lanyard and the bead from Jesse, and it fits just beautifully in the single slip. I mean, just, just a perfect fit. And what I had in mind for this is I wanted the front piece of leather to come up and just 
kind of be below the lanyard tube. And I wanted the back piece of leather to not stick up too high, uh, kind of above the, uh, the knife itself. So this is absolutely a perfect fit, exactly what I was looking for. I think it looks fantastic with that OD green lanyard and that nice brass bead. And it, yeah, it's a perfect fit. So if you're looking for a single slip or a dual slip, the Benchmade proper is a great fit, as well as the Victorinox uh, Pioneer, also a great fit in, the, uh, in those slips as well. So thank you again, Ryan, for your amazing customer service. Uh, fair prices, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, I wanna say I paid, it's like $25 US dollars for a single slip plus shipping uh, from Nova Scotia. And so a very fair price, right? A, a lot of larger companies that are operating in much higher volume are charging that same price for a slip of this size and of this quality. And they're getting their materials in, in crazy bulk and they've got much more kind of refined processes and, and things like that. So the fact that Ryan is operating on a small scale, a small business, and he's still competitive with his pricing is, is really nice, really impressive. And it's one of the reasons why I love supporting these extraordinarily talented people that exist among us, right, in this EDC community uh, that we're all uh, a part of. So thanks again, Ryan, for the single slip. It looks fantastic. So if you're looking for a single slip or a dual slip, that's what they look like. And again, the standard single slip is just going to be half of a dual slip. So it would just look like that, which would still be a perfect uh, solution, I think, for a lot of kind of your EDC tools and knives and flashlights and things like that. But I just wanted something a little different for the, uh, for the Benchmade, and Ryan certainly came through for me. So that is all I've got for you guys today. Thanks again, Jesse, for the lanyard bead. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.